Gift exchange. So we're both gonna banish a card on the end phase. We're gonna exchange them. Oh my god. But we're gonna banish them face down? No. Yeah, face down, so we don't get to know. Uh, it's just in your hand. Yeah, yeah. I can hear you go. <laughs> right okay. Uh, okay. Ah! I can't, I can't even read that. I can't even read this card. Hey guys, I have a surprise for you. I have Yu-Gi-Oh! Power Cube. All right, guys. You already know. I know what. I know what's up. Like, yeah, I know. Hey, I was I here for the beginning of these videos. I get it. I've done more than anyone. Well, except for Paul. You guys each have to open this mystery cube and build a deck. Oh, Ooh. so that's all I gotta do? Say there's less. A, there's a twist, though. Oh. This is gonna be a series. So, oh no. That's but right. Paul, this is not. How am I supposed to like make this work for multiple videos? It's supposed to be one-off where Every we video. struggle and we fail and we stop and never look at these again. So Every we're gonna video. So we're gonna open up a new one of these, what, every week? Yes. We're gonna add to our card pool to make the strongest decks we can. And then in about a month, we'll end the segment because we realize these are horrible, horrible products. All right, let's get to opening. The Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game Power Cube. Look for randomly inserted chase cards, like That's Needleworm, That's Blackwing it. Armor Master, That's and Elemental it. Hero Stratus. How are those chase cards? Who knows? You get two booster packs, five bonus packs, I don't know what a bonus pack is, five rare cards, that means nothing in this game, and 35 common cards. That sounds about right. Oh, we, we get an idea of what some of the packs could be. Dawn of Majesty, I see Legendary Duelist, the other Legendary Duelist set, and whatever set that is. I wonder what it's Let's find out. All right, who wants to open first? Alex. I'm my daughter, yep. I don't know if there's much more to it, so. Albion the Shrouded Dragon. That's good, right? That's actually pretty decent. It's a mega card. pack card. Yeah. Okay, well, that's a start. We've got the Star Pack Bataglia Compal. Wait, this is. <laughs> what? No, 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 no. This is not even in English. This is Italian. Hey, that's legal in the TCG. This is a. I can't, I want to read the cards. There are three cards inside. That's Star Pack. Yosenju Shinchu D. Nice. And Velocidroid Terror Tratola. What is it? Speed Terror Tratola? Terror Tratola? Yes. And then Mosa Sagreta Yosenju. Uh, I can't use these cards! Yosenju. <laughs> oh, okay. I know this one. I used oh, to that's that. a Goki um, rematch. rematch. Yeah, I like yeah. Gokis. I want to play Gokis again. Well, you can't do it because you only had two star packs. Oh. I mean, who knows? There might be more Gokis in the random pile of stuff, so you can see them underneath the pack. This is English! Random cards. Hey, where did Lost Exit go here? I'll be on. Hey, we're getting started. All right, yeah, all right. budget branded. Let's go. Despia Theater of the Branded. Oh, another branded card. Brigand, the Glory Dragon. Branded. Branded. I have a feeling I know where these all came from. Like some of the branded cards. So guys, normally I would turn this over, you know? But you know, wouldn't it be more fun just to, look, just to flip them? But it's all comments, right? So I might as well just not worry about that. That's not a common. Well, you get like five rares and 35 commons. Okay, well, so. backup secretary is like That's cyber good. support. Perform age hat trickers is useless. That's about good other too. Stuff. Well, actually, you could even use of this. These are decent cards. Evil twin pres present. Never mind. I can't use that. Invoked Megalanica. I have no use for that unless Cloud Castle. I'm not sure synchro. exactly how to use it. Allure of Darkness, though. That yeah. can see some. And you were getting dark mission cards. Pteranodon. Oh, Petit Pteranodon. 
That's cool. That could be used in, if I had stuff for it. You need dinos. Incantation Pencil Plume is utterly useless without the rest of the archetype. Deck Devastation Virus. You know, dark stuff. All right. Double Evolution Pill. Oh, now you got dino stuff. All right, it's a start. Also, the Earth Charmer, immovable. I like your charmers. Yeah, I can maybe use it. I have the Earth Monsters, I think. <laughs> and um, Albaz, the Shrouded. Toby. <laughs> yep. Okay. Okay, so how are you feeling about this? You gotta make a deck out of these cards. All this, this stuff right here. I am very worried. Open the cube of my destiny. FA test run. That's a rough start, but here we are. Setting the stage early with our FA test run. Nice, Look at, nice. Let's see, dude, what, what kind of packs do we have? Uh, looks like I also have Star Pack, Batagla, Campale. I'm yep, guessing it's still Italian. Yeah. Uh, I got Tactical Masters, oh, that's Dawn of Majesty. That's not different. I've got the Legendary Duelist Light Editions. Yep. Okay. And then what's this? Performer Pile Stamp Turtle. You know I like my pals. Let's rip through these packs and see what we get. Stardust Trail, I'm getting fresh flashbacks to when Paul and I did a uh, Stardust versus Red Dragon duel. That's cool, I watched that. <laughs> a B Trooper Scout Buggy, that's actually a useful a B Trooper secret. card. Whoa, and yeah, the rarest card we pulled. He won, Yay, folks. He so we, e we end the series now, right? No. Oh. You know what would be cool is if we just did this series of it until we get one of these so called chase cards that they say they bring. So yeah. problem is, how do we know what's a chase card? We'll, I don't know. You, you know means. it when you see it, you know? Apparently. Yeah, I guess it means like a starlight or something. All they right. definitely are I putting see, in these I bags. guess it would have to be in the um, the, the group commons um, section, because that's the only way they Well, there's those the early one-offs you have in your box. True, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Like that. Wait a minute. Gary the Runic Fangs? Ew. Guys, his were better than mine. That's not true. That's making it sound like any of these cards are useful. All right. My random cards. I have a Runic Smiting Storm. Yeah, hey, yeah. that can work with my uh, my Gary. I, I mean, I can't make this, but you know, it's worth the thought. Well, no, uh, Smiting Storm can make it. It can? Mm -hmm. Special. Oh, I got special not summoning. fair, guys. They were combo. Oh, we got Frecky, the Runic Fangs. Guys, so not we're just fair. getting a lot of Runic stuff today. Okay, so what's that? Secret, uh, S-E-C-E, -E. what set was that? Secrets of Eternity. Secrets of Eternity, that's it. Secrets of Eternity was released in January 2015. Super Heavy Semi Soul Piercer, but no other Super Heavies. Well. Awesome, fun. I like, it doesn't matter what these cards are, I'm gonna win regardless, so. Oh, yeah, he's, so he's definitely winning. I know you guys are thinking that this is completely random and like these decks are gonna suck, and you're right. <laughs> However. The hope here is that by accumulating lots and lots of random Yu-Gi-Oh! mystery boxes at the store every week, eventually these decks could become something and they can find synergies, and like develop a cool strategy and by like episode 57 or something there will actually be functional decks here. So if you like it, sub if you love it. Okay guys, how's the deck building going? I hate it here! I feel like that something's going on here. I, I don't know, like nothing great, but something. I was I mean, trying to get to 30 cards. By the way guys, we're doing 30 card decks, right? I mean, the boxes had more, they had more than We're doing 30 cards. card decks, I right? I think have to do 40. Because... <sighs> nice. This? is my new ace monster. 
What is this? Garbage. Oh. I think, I think he'll work out. Are you gonna make use of your token? No. <laughs> what about you? How, how's your deck building? Uh, this is my best card. I've never read it before. So yeah, that, that's how it's going. I have a bunch of things in here. I don't, I don't think it's gonna work well, but. I see staples. You know, you've seen, what do you mean? You've seen a staple. You've seen a staple. I feel like three. Th three. You're stretching the definition of a staple, I promise you. So this card would actually be pretty decent in like normal Yu-Gi-Oh. It activates when your opponent adds a card from deck to hand. Like, you know, that comes up a little bit in normal Yu-Gi-Oh. It's not happening here. But you can always add it in your deck, you never know. No. Okay, so uh, the deck building looks like it's proceeding as we set up cameras. Yeah. Alex actually has been cooking over here. I've heard strategy talk. Yes, no? I, I got nothing for you guys. We're gonna we're gonna get to the duel and we'll see how it goes. Oh, uh, what about you? Look, man, I'm just leaving these cards up. Paul said we can make it a 30 card deck, so. Yeah, the rule is 30 card decks only this episode. So. I found 20 cards I wanted to put in the deck and then I put 10 cards in I didn't. So that's gonna have to be it. Am I, I'm still confident I'm gonna win. Uh, it's cause, you know, I mean, I've been about around the block. I know how to do these types of things, but uh, I don't want to have to do this. Oh yeah, I better make use of my token card because it's gonna be coming out. <sighs> Give me that, I, I got scapegoat. Nah, I'm gonna need an Outbass token. Oh, he said that! He said that! If Alex Fusion summons a single one of those dragons, I'm surrendering the series. <laughs> how many do you, one of them, how many do you have? One, he oh. keeps thinking I have more than that. I've got one. He got a mirror jade, a bridge. A mirror jade? <laughs> you got a titanic lad. He's I, making stuff up yours. Nah, I saw, I saw Paul slipped you on a uh, A bridge fusion. That was <laughs> crazy guys. I don't know what's happened to him. <laughs> So Paul just put us on to these uh, Ulti Ego and Ulti Instinct sleeves by Tombox from MST.TV. These are actually really solid sleeves. We used them once before in previous segments. They look really nice, but also they feel nice on your cards. They last for a long time. And you know, if you like a little Dragon Ball flair, I mean, go check them out. Yeah, now who gets what color? So I what think- What are the colors of your souls? Well, I mean, you can, you. I think that Alex has the bigger ego, so he can have the ulti ego sleeves. That does sound And right. I rely mostly on instinct, so I'll use the ulti instinct sleeves. All right, high roll, brother. Wow. Six, it's a one on these Okay, I, I hate dice, guys, I really do. But don't you play a bunch of games that use dice? I hate ones with symbols on them. Oh, fair enough. It throws it off for me. That's also six. six. All right, here we go. This is why I roll with D20s mostly. You should four. play tabletop. No. Actually, that's doubles. Roll again. That's not how it works. I roll the four. <laughs> roll the dice. Okay, fine. No one wants to roll a second time for doubles. What is it's this fun. Monopoly? It's fun and I like it. Seven. Seven. All right, your choice. All right. Um, I'll go first, I guess. All right, let's have a good game. I'll activate the effect of Jack of Bolin in my hand. Oh, wow. I can discard a zombie monster and special summon this card from my hand. What the heck? You have two zombies? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what you thought? I'll also lay some cards out for I think it's 2200 defense. Your move. I don't know if I can get through that. Draw. <laughs> this game's already started off in a horrible place. Uh, standby phase. Oh, I'm an idiot. I could have synchro summoned. Okay. Oh. En entering main phase. Yeah. I hate it here. <laughs> I activate <laughs> gift exchange. Well, he's, look at this extra deck. It's thick. Mine is four. Mine's 14. Gift exchange. I have no idea what to give you. Yeah, see, now you have to ask yourself, like, what's the most useless card you have in your deck? I think I know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, very easy. My deck has no useless cards, Alec. Oh, I appreciate that, man. I'm gonna set a card face down. I'll set a second card face down and I'll pass there. I'm going to draw for turn. I'm going to switch my Jackal Bullet to attack mode. I'll have my Jackal Bullet attack your face down card. How much, how big? 1,500? 1,500 attack. You hit my Labyrinth Stone Tor Stovey Torby, who has 2,000 defense. So oh no. you'll take 500. Not bad, Alec. I guess I'll have to Who's end best my out turn. Of three? We'll see how the first game goes. <laughs> Draw for turn. I'm going to activate my Book of Eclipse. That sounds bad for me. I'm going to activate my Jack of Bolin's ability. 
before I resolve that, I'll chain another card. I'll activate. What is this card? Surprise chain. Oh, all right. It's actually surprise. I can only activate this card as a chain link two or higher. I guess this is chain link three, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, I can apply the following effects depending on the chain link number of this card. If two plus, excavate the top cards of my deck equal to the chain link number of this card. Then place them on top of my deck in any order. All right, excavate three. One. Put them on however you want. Two, three. I can't believe this is happening, yo. I don't, I've never seen someone use Surprise Shane oh, before. Oh, is there a gift exchange over this Oh. Oh. Um, <laughs> oh, God. Uh, it's just in your hand. Yeah, yeah. okay, here you go. <laughs> it's in your hand now. All right, uh, okay. Ah! <laughs> I, can't, I can't even read that. I can't even read this card. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. All right, show the camera each what you got. So he exchanged this card. It. I can't read it. I have a vague idea of what it does. <laughs> Meanwhile, you gave me Winged Karipo. Because I'm Yugi. Because I'm Yugi and you're Jaden. Apparently so. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, that's in my hand now. Back to this. So top three cards get excavated. Yep. And you I put can them put them back in order. any order. All right. Now, since it was also Notice three me. or higher, I'll send the top card of my deck to the GY. Unfortunately, it was my Lure of Darkness. What is happening? Oh, so that Who's was got... the worst thing? Wow, when the lure is the worst. <laughs> Jack Abolin will special summon my Mad Mauler and will be banished until the end of the turn. And Book of Eclipse will flip us down. All right, let's set the scales. Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> Two and seven. Ah! <laughs> uh -uh. Yeah, so I put that Book of Eclipse in this scale thinking that it wasn't gonna come up and I immediately drew my oh, second so scale. <laughs> so I had to use it. <laughs> Pendulum summon too. Oh no. My uh, Gem Knight Lapis and my Silent Wolf Kalupo. So Kalupo on special summon will take the top card of my deck and equip it face down as an equip spell. It gains 500 attack off this card. And then during the uh, end phase, you are going to guess monster, spell, or trap of this card. And if you call it right, I will send my, my wolf to the graveyard. If you call it wrong, I'll discard one card from your hand. The Mad Mauler, I forgot how much his defense was, but we're swinging him with 1,900. 1,900, huh? He's got a battle trap? Okay, oh, yeah, Mad Mauler with 200 defense. And then Lapis will attack you for 1,200. And now we play the game. I'm going to move to end phase. What do you think this card is? Monster, Monster. spell, okay. You understand, you understand what happens if you get this wrong. Oh wait, it's not a monster. It shouldn't be anyway. It is it should be like a spell. Yeah, okay. So, because you called it wrong, we'll discard a random card from your hand and then I'll return my wolf to my hand. <laughs> Close your eyes when you do this. Because <laughs> this isn't random, Alex. Because <laughs> my card is in your hand. <laughs> um, uh, we'll, do, we'll do the dice. A dice, thing. okay, yeah. all right. All right. <laughs> So, uh, one to two, two uh, three to four, five to six. Got it. Okay. <laughs> That's one. A one. Okay. So, uh, this goes to... Give me that. Okay. It's my chores. All right. So, oh, Wolf goes to ha goes back to my hand. I don't I know guess, why I thought that would be a I guess monster. this goes face. Oh, this goes God. face. I'm not thinking clearly. I'm obviously... All right. <laughs> I'm all choked up right Your now. turn. <laughs> End of turn. My Jack of Bowling specials is Return to the Field. I love how chaotic this duel has been so far. It's actually Drop Return. I did not think I'd be doing a Pendulum Summon. Normal Summon. Stegron Sidbeso. Stegron Sidbeso. Sidbeso. Attack Gem Knight Lazuli. I'll just move to my end phase. All right. Your move. Then I'll draw. All right, I'm gonna Pendulum Summon too. Two. My Wolf and Yosenju Magat. Oh no! <laughs> So Wolf will activate again, equipping a phase down. So we'll attack 1900 at your Cyberus Wizard. I don't like that. I think my best method here is to activate my face down card. Oh, okay. Well, I, here's something useful. Well, that's I activate Tie Strike. The battle concludes. All right, so both, both our monsters destroyed. are destroyed. But you'll also take the combat damage for 1900. Stop!
think that's 2200 defense to my 2000 attacks. So I actually still can't get over Jack of Bowen. <laughs> oh, wow. Right according to plan. I'll move to end phase and you'll send you my gut. We'll return to my hand. Your turn. All right. My draw. Finally. How are we going to get rid of this Jack of Bowen? What? You know what? Mm -hmm. I'm going to let you mauled. I'll just end my turn. Whoa, because I can't get over the jack. That's, mm -hmm. that's fair. I, I can't get over the jack, so I, we're, we're just here. I'll set one face down and pass. Wonder what that Draw. Is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use the effect of my Perform Mage Hat Tricker. I'll activate Disposable Learner Device. It's an equipped spell card that I can equip a monster to. It'll gain 200 mon attack for each monster in my graveyard. I have only one now, but it does mean my Perform Age Hat Trigger is a 1300 attack monster. Perform Age Hat Trigger, attack the card we already know what it is. All right, but you know Dot Scraper has 2100 defense, right? I did not know, actually. Oh, I totally okay. forgot. I never played this <laughs> How much do you have again? Oh, crap. I only had 1300. 13 to uh, 2100. I, I, I made a mistake. Yeah, yeah, but sure. what you didn't know. Oh, wait, I made a mistake again. Oh, oh God, Alex, learn your lessons. What lessons have I'm just an, I'm an idiot. Just let's, let's just end my turn. I know. I'm not used to drawing oh. all these triggers and looking for the windows and triggers and windows, huh? That's all life is to you. Uh, I messed up bad. All right, let's tribute the dot scraper. Tribute summon. To summon my Yosenju Magat. On normal summon, he can special summon one Yosenju monster from my deck. Dot scraper, was sent, dot scraper was sent to grave, so it will return to the field. So let's summon a Yosenju. I gave him a good card by accident because you weren't supposed to want to read it, and then it actually became useful. I think I'm defeating myself, guys. We'll get Yosenju, comma two. So Magat will attack your perform age. Okay, well, they only have 1300 attack, so it will lose the battle. It will be destroyed. Comma 2 can attack you directly, yeah, so can. it'll attack you for 900. And then I will move to my end phase. I'll resolve first, taking both my Yosenjus back to the hand. And I'll activate my disposable learner device, where it allows me to reset it to the board. However, next time it leaves the field, it will be banished. Good. But that lets me activate Magician of Dark Illusion. Since I use a card, a, a spell, or, or effect during your turn, Special summon my illusion magician thing. And now okay. it's my turn. Okay. Draw. Now let's move my magician of dark illusion to attack mode. And I'll activate the spell card. Disposable learner device. As if you didn't know it was here already. But because now I have two monsters in my graveyard, it's giving my magician 400 more attack. It's giving, you say. It's giving. It's giving 400. <laughs> Why you gotta make it sound weird? <laughs> magician of dark illusion, attack dot scraper. That scraper is destroyed and it cannot come back. I'm gonna go ahead and move to end phase. Oh, this is Alex's card. Oh, yes it is. Oh, yeah. Also, whenever it went to grave, it should have, he would have mainly used to effect, not you. Oh, no! Wait, honestly, listen. <laughs> Y'all can just tell the camera all about, who cares, the random rules duel, but I just noticed that. <laughs> So guys, this dot scraper was not supposed to be on my side of the field. In fact, it should have been on his side of the field. Oh and uh, yeah, I, let's continue like so. It hasn't affected much? I don't know. Really I attributed the dot scraper and just kind of slapped back on my field again. Oh, okay. So, then, yeah. I mean, uh, it's a big deal. Uh, well, um, and it's her battle phase. Okay. Magician of Dark Illusion, attack his face style card. You hit my Stoby Torby. Well, uh, I didn't have any more plans, so I'm just going to have to end my turn there. Draw for time. All right, let's go ahead and pendulum summon three. Here we go. Comma two, Magat, and let's get my Golden Whip. Comma two attacks you directly. I'll take 900 damage. I'll move to end phase. These two will bounce back to my hand. Your turn. My draw. This goes on off the rails. Yeah, this is nonsense. Like some cards we can't read. Like <laughs> so it's right, another language. I'll set one card face down. There's a lot of cards we've never played before. I'm gonna switch my Jack of Bolin to attack mode. I'm gonna have Jack of Bolin attack your Whipmaster. And then I'll have my Magician of Dark Illusion attack you directly for 2,500 damage. That is a, a, a heap in the damage. But I don't have any more moves in that, so I guess I'll end my turn. All right, drop a turn. All right, let's go ahead and Pendulum Summon 4. Alex actually is flying a Pendulum strategy here. Yep, and I am in trouble. So that, that's still the real witch, you haven't seen that one yet. It does not really matter here. It's just a body. <laughs> just a one body. Kama 2 is going to attack you directly for 900. Then Magat will attack Jack of Bowen. Mm -hmm. uh, Jack of Bowen's going to have to take that because I don't have any more zombies in my graveyard to save them with. And now, I'll move to end phase. My Yosenjus will return back to my hand. 
Your turn. My draw. Normal summon my harmonizing magician since I can't use her the way I want to. So you do have a tuner. Then I'm going to link summon. So I can make my also the earth charmer immovable. Stop that! Also will let me target one earth monster in my opponent's GY and special it to a zone this card points to. We only have one in there. Can I grab it? I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't even know, I don't know. Oh, here you go. I'll get my gym, my lapis. My also is going to attack into your Amazon is Golden Whipmaster. My Magician of Dark Illusion is going to attack your um, Dota the Witch. And my Gem Knight Lapis will attack you directly for 1200 damage. And I'll have to end my turn there. All right. This became a closer duel than Draw. I was expecting and had any right to be. Facts. Yeah, probably. All right, you know what I'm gonna do, Alex? What? I'm gonna Pendulum Summon. That's Pendulum Summon one. The number gets higher every single turn. It's five this time, I'm sure. Uh, two, so three. I'm gonna Pendulum Summon four, I Only think. four, okay, I thought it would be five. All right. So I need the Magician's Rod for my deck. Yeah, well, it's in mine. You'll probably pull one in the next set of, <laughs> set of mystery packs. Let's probably enter so. battle. So let's have Yasenju Magat will attack the Asa. Asa is destroyed by that battle. No other effects happen. Wait, if this Link Summon card is destroyed by battle or is destroyed by an opponent's card effect while its owner is in its... Wait. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You can add one Earth Monster with 1,500 less defense from my deck to my hand. Okay, cool. I'll go ahead and activate that and do it. Go for it. I'm gonna grab my Quill Bolt Hedgehog. Can't help me clear anything, but it's defense. And then I'll attack you directly with comma two. For 900 damage. Yes, sir. That's fair. All right, next I will tr go to main phase two, tribute my rod. What? to summon Dododo Buster. Oh no. When it is tribute summoned, I can target the Dododo monster in my okay. graveyard and special summon it in defense mode. What the heck? I'll get my Dododo Witch. Oh. We'll set one card face down, move to end phase, pick them up, your turn. I feel bad, Alec. I mean, if you got me, you got me. You've handed me the keys to victory. I have? Draw for turn. I'll show you the greatest show on earth, cause the show must go on. Yeah, Alex has to beat you this turn or else he'll just lose. Yeah, so I mean, yeah. I will enter main right phase here. and tribute my Gem Knight Lapis for my ace monster that I told you from the, the very start. Alex, by the way, oh, there you go. I told you from the start, <laughs> this will be the card to end you. Say hello to Master's Diplomat. Alex, you never said that. That was <laughs> never said. Actually, he said it to the camera. To the camera. Oh my gosh. So. If this card is tribute summoned, I can target one monster in my graveyard and waste one face up monster my opponent controls. I can equip the monster from my graveyard to my opponent's monster. While equipped by this effect, the equipped monster loses attack equal to the attack of the monster equipped to it. My opponent oh. cannot activate the effects of monsters they control that are, equi that are equipped with equipped cards in my spell and trap zone. Oh, GG. Yep. Yeah, he got that. Wait, we'll give finish you. It for We're gonna give you also the Earth Charmer Immovable. She equips a Dodo Buster and drops the attack by 1850. Yeah, that'll, yeah, that's going to hurt. And now, enter the battle phase. Magician of Dark Illusion attack Dodo Buster. That's a lot of damage. Ha! <laughs> <sighs> he got me, y'all. Uh... So, like I said before, guys, I w even though I lost, I mean, I put together the best cards I could find in the set. Uh, some cards I just like, like Psychic Rover, but this card's uh, actually not bad. I put her in here because she's big, not because she's useful. Pianissima would have been a decent card, except it got, it was underneath my, my wolf, so it it got sent to the grave. Didn't want to put Senate Switch in here, but there wasn't much I could do. Uh, I misused my Book of Eclipse because I put it in my Pendulum Zone, not realizing I would actually Pendulum Summon this game. That was a huge surprise. At two Dodo, Dodo monsters, and they did come up. I could have done more Dodo things, but sadly, this also meant that I lost the game. I did run the Floodgate, I hate myself. You know, Sorcerer it will increase uh, stamp turtle attack by a thousand. It's not significant, but it's more than what he had before. Oh, Ryoku did not come up. Another Dodo monster. Oh, there's Simon with Kalupa, who was more fun than I ever expected. So for next episode, what are we? Anything that we're going to try to hopefully maybe capitalize on any strategies that are. Feeling? I cannot. I'm going to have to just wing it and see. I think that in this type of a format, maybe pendulums, because a lot of those pendulum sets seem to get put into these boxes. I do. I have three pendulum monsters, and even I can't reliably, you know, see them. That was a huge part of my game. Game and something that could be bigger going forward. Uh, you know, maybe if I see more Yosenju, that'd be cool too. Uh, Yosenju like showing up in these types of products, so if I get more of those, that's cool. And I, I do have Runic. Like, I had these two, at two Runic quick play spells, 
and even I had the two or two of the runic monsters. So something could have happened, it didn't, but next time I will be looking to make use of those cards, even if I would never play runic in real life. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Congratulations, Alex, you won. Yeah, the first I did. Episode of we need a name for this segment. What is this segment gonna be called? Power Cube Powerhouses. No, that didn't work. Mystery Masters. Mystery Madness? Mystery Masochists. <laughs> Cause we like pain. Anyways, let's see what, you, what was your deck, what were you? Oh yeah, so um, my deck was just, it is what it is. I knew going in that this seemed like an ace card. I don't know, like from the old days. Something I could just use to turn an entire situation around, and that's why I put him in, and he actually did show up. The, the hard part was I had to hold on to it the entire game, waiting for the opportunity, because he kept pendling summoning Yosenjus who went away after, so I never got a chance to use him early. Um, I didn't understand how crucial Magician of Dark Illusion was gonna be in this game. I just knew I'd have a chance of getting it on the board, and it was nice, actually. This is a, a sealed card, I think. I mean, this is not a great card, but I figured I could let the game go for a while. It would come back on its own from one loss, so I'd have like a powerful moss on the board at some point. I'd love putting it in here. Jack of Olin, I didn't actually have real thoughts about. I just knew it was decent. I couldn't even use it that well, but it did help a lot with that large body. In this kind of format, big numbers are good numbers. Dot Scraper, whose name I've just figured out, um, I will one day um, learn to use this card well. I could. Basically, this is funny, this is only the duel. He's like four cards yeah, for yeah. the duel. That was, that was the duel. Um, I'm glad this showed up for me in a small deck size. I guess that's how it happened for me. It was even crazy, I was able to use Jack of Bowen immediately. Like, just really nice. Um, Magician Navigations is just in case I can make use of this guy since he's technically a Dark Magician while on the... Oh. Um, if it gets in the graveyard, it can help out this Dark Magician. <laughs> okay. Um, Harmonized Magician's only in here for a uh, Pendulum Scale because she's an eight, that's really cool. But the only problem with her is, well, um, she's not that great, but she's a tuner, so I can also use her for that. I have no idea what I'm making with her, but she's pretty cool. Um, Hat Tricker is a special summon. It's pretty cool, I like it. Special summoning is awesome. Tie Strike was a nice little um, option card. Um, just helped me control the board a bit. Stay ahead of Alec just a bit while he took control of the game. Um, Cybers, I was never in control. Cyrus Wizard has nice high stats, but it's not actually why he's in here, because I never even knew what the effect was, and I still don't know. But <laughs> it's not here. It's actually in here the same reason Dot Scraper is in here. You know what they have in common? Besides being Italian, <laughs> they're cybers. And as a monster in here, I was actually planning on using them with if it comes uh, if it came up. Surprise chain looked like it might be this might be the kind of format for it. If nothing else, I can chain it to something and I would get to um, set up the top of my deck. And that's what I did. I got a lot of neat cards I, I liked, but sadly it meant I lost my Lord of Darkness, which I recognized in the moment wasn't going to be useful. So I chose to discard it with the second effect of the surprise chain and I was fine. Retaliating C came up in my last hand. It's a hand trap, guys. It's not even a great hand trap, but hey, it might come up. It has a nice large body. I probably could have put this in my hand besides Quillbolt on that last turn, but it didn't really matter anymore. And these next guys, well, if you get to see them in action, by the way, this is the um, Cypress Monster that we're here for. If you want to see the rest of them, you have to watch the rest of our games. I won't change out my favorite cards from this deck, but a lot of these do have promise with what I found so far, except for this one. It's, I just put it in for 2,000 defense. All right. Next time, I'm not going to lose, guys. Like I said, I think I said earlier, this was the one I cared the least about. There was just too much random uh, randomness and variance. Next time, our card pool was essentially going to double. So next episode's really going to turn up the heat, and we're going to find out who's better for real. Yeah, and I'm going to try to talk slower next time. Cool. All right. Like, comment, subscribe, yes? Yep. Yes. Cool. All right. See you guys next time. <laughs>